Hey there, everyone. Welcome to another English storybook lesson. Today's storybook is Goat and Donkey in Strawberry Sunglasses. It was written by Simon Puddock and Russell Julian and published by Wisebook. Remember, if you want the full English lesson for free, go to EnglishStoryBook.com. You can also follow us on Facebook at Facebook backslash Learn English Storybook. Great, let's get on to the story. Goodness, said Donkey one morning. There is nothing to eat. The cupboard is bare. I really must go shopping today, but I am so busy. Oh, Donkey, said Goat. I will go shopping for you. I am good at shopping. Now Donkey knew that Goat was often muddly and forgetful, but they were best friends. And Donkey also knew that best friends must be thoughtful and kind to each other. Are you sure, he asked, because you might get in a muddle. Today, said Goat, I will not be muddly at all. Then I'll make a list, said Donkey, and you must buy just what is on it. Goody, said Goat. Donkey wrote the list. He wrote ten rosy apples, eight juicy carrots, four crunchy cabbages, any flavor ice cream. You can choose the ice cream, said Donkey. I like strawberry best, said Goat. Splendid, said Donkey. So do I. Goat fetched the shopping basket and trotted off to town. When he got to the market, there was so much to look at. All the stalls had such wonderful, colorful things to buy. They made Goat feel quite giddy. A jazzy clothes store caught Goat's eye. He stopped to look and saw a beautiful sun hat. That would be just the thing for Donkey, he thought, and he looked at the shopping list. But Donkey's writing was very grown up and difficult to read. Goat looked at it so long, he got muddled. One beautiful sun hat, he decided, was just what Donkey had put on the list, so he bought it. Goat trotted along the market lanes. A swimmy seaside sort of stall caught his eye. Goat stopped to look, and he saw an orange blow-up octopus. That would be just the thing to have at the beach, thought Goat, and he looked at the shopping list. Oh dear, said Goat, what does it say? And though he tried not to, he got muddled again. One orange blow-up octopus, he decided, just what Donkey had put on the list. So he bought it. Goat trotted along the market lanes. A musical sort of stall caught his eye. Goat stopped to look and saw a shiny golden trumpet. I bet Donkey would love to toot on that, thought Goat, and he looked at Donkey's shopping list. Really? thought Goat. Donkey should write more neatly. I can't read this at all. And of course, he got muddled again. One shiny golden trumpet, he decided, was just what Donkey had put on the list. So he bought it. Now, thought Goat, I have just one more thing to buy, and it has something to do with strawberries. Goat trotted along the market lanes. An odds and ends sort of stall caught his eye. Goat stopped to look, and he saw a pair of sunglasses with real plastic strawberries on them. They were very smart. Goat longed to try them on. Of course, thought Goat, strawberries! How clever of Donkey! That must be exactly what he put on the list. And he bought the sunglasses right away. Then Goat trotted happily home. When Donkey saw all the things that Goat had bought, he was surprised. Oh, Goat, he said, you have got muddled! Where are the apples and carrots and cabbages and ice cream for supper? Goat's face fell. Oh, he said, feeling rather foolish. I had a little trouble with the list. I guessed as much, said Donkey. Then he put on his sun hat and tooted his trumpet to show Goat how pleased he was to have them. But, said Donkey, we still don't have anything for supper. We will go shopping together, and this time I will help you. Goody, said Goat. Yes, let's.
And that is almost exactly what they did.